Welcome to Tapit Simplifies Gentle Student Experience Series. We are here to help you decide what school is the best choice for you. Today, we'll be showcasing Monica Yakub, who is a D3 student at University of Illinois Chicago School of Dentistry. She'll be sharing her fair share of experiences with us today. Hi, Monica. How are you? Hey, Lena. How are you doing? I'm great. And how is the school? School is great. School is amazing so far. Is yeah. It's busy. <laughs> it's very busy, but uh, oh, it's extremely, extremely busy. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever planning to come, just make sure <laughs> you're okay with being busy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So please share your journey of dream turning into reality. Like, which country are you from? Why did you choose GMD? And why dentistry in US? Um, okay, um, so I'm from Egypt. Um, I graduated, I worked for one year after my, my internship. We had like a rotated internship after graduation in different hospitals and I graduated, I practiced for a year. Uh, and then I moved to US because most of my family are here. Um, so okay. for family purposes. Um, why DMD? Because I mean, I option between residency and DMD. I feel like since I don't have enough experiences, um, I went to DMD route more than um, residencies. Um, this is your only way to get licensed here. <laughs> okay. How many cycles did it take for you? Um, I got accepted in my third cycle. Oh. It was a long way. It was. Yeah. Um, and actually, yeah, like I, I moved here, I, I practiced, like I, pra I didn't practice, but I worked as dental assistant. I'm studying by my, bo like my boards. Um, and then I started to try to get more exposed to clinical experiences. I went to Boston University. Um, I took like one month preceptorship over there, where it was my first exposure um, to dental student life. And as well was um, like dental school life and how it was my first exposure, how dental schools looks like here in the States. Um, it was a very great experience. Um, I enjoyed it. It was one month. We got rotated with different, um, with undergrad student and postgrad students. Mm -hmm. And this rotation gave us like, gave me like as um, a scope of dental student life and dental school life here in the U.S. Um, and actually, like I, I used every and each chance to take CE courses, which I think helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and I tried in person once before COVID. Um, and also, like I did one year externship program at the University of Kentucky in periodontology and implantology, okay. um, which was an amazing experience. Um, I mean, I learned a lot. I, I, I was living like with residents. And I was just living the, their daily life with them. And it was a great experience. I participated in like seminars, webinars, presentations, um, research, um, classes, everything. So it was also a great experience and enhanced my, my experience and my profile and myself. And I learned a lot from it. So you always had interest in implants or it happened after the preceptorship at Boston? No, actually, it was one of my interests, like implantology, periodontology, it's one of my interests. So I found this experience, I got, I would be, I would say, got lucky to, to, to get this, um, this experience. And I applied for this externship. Okay. And thankfully, I got the opportunity to be there. Yeah, it was one year. So it wasn't something like for a quick thing it was one year experience yeah, it was like uh, more extensive and hands-on kind of thing oh yeah definitely yeah wow it's like full nice. yeah so like <laughs> what was that one thing that kept you moving throughout your journey um what i want i mean this was my goal and that's what i need to so you have to keep going till you reach what you need to and that's beautiful. Like you constantly have a vision of, you know, the destination. So journey oh, becomes yeah. easy. So just you, you're going to keep going, whatever you, whatever it takes. Yeah. And I'm sure you two had hurdles. So can you talk about them? 
<laughs> what was the biggest that, challenge for you? I I can say it's a big challenge. I mean, it's it's been a very long journey, and it takes ups and downs. It takes um, hardships and fun time as well during this journey. So we have to take it all over as a package. We can't take only like good stuff and just leaves uh, as a hardship. So my challenge is, um, I can't say, sp- but I mean, I, as I told you, it's been three, ser- three cycles. So you can know the challenge. Like after studying NBD, I'm kind of, I didn't pass my NBD part one from the first trial. So this was a challenge in the beginning. And then um, thankfully my second one was okay from the first trial. So that was good. My TOEFL, it took me, it took me a while till I get my score. Mm -hmm. So this was a third challenge. Um, But I was using this time. Yes, it took me a long time, but I was trying to use this time to practice. I went through like being dental assistant, different practice and different uh, specialities from general dentist to specialty to back to general dentist. I tried to get exposed to different and variety of experiences as much as I want. Um, I, I used this time to do so. So, I mean, it, definitely it's hard. It, it's never been easy. Um, but I mean, I, I'm here where I am. It's still hard. It's not easy, but at least I'm reaching my goal gradually. Yeah, that's really amazing. So like yeah. what aspects of the school UIC makes it a best choice of schools for you? Uh, UIC, so there's two aspects before knowing UIC or before getting into UIC, just while I'm hearing from other people, and the other aspect after I got to, into UIC. So before, um, as I think most people who really read about UIC, they know like there's a SGL and TBL kind of course. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of team-based learning where we get into small groups and we discuss Every week we discuss a specific subject, like a specific um, medication with a specific disease with a specific treatment plan. And we start to discuss and we have like our moderator, which one of our professors, they start to brainstorm us to get the best out of what's the best treatment in this case. And if this patient has this complication, what what's your reaction? Um, and we, since we're a small group, we can discuss with each other. Each one going to speak with his experience or her experience. So this brainstorm us more and we learn a lot from it. So this was a great, actually, um, a great concept. Oh, that's um, interesting. Like you get to learn different perspectives as well. Yes, wow, which is amazing. And you, you learn from your colleagues. You learn from your dent, like dentists and professors. And this is really amazing. Yeah. Um, also, um, before UIC, it was advanced track system. So once we get to our D four um, D four year, mm-hmm. we get we can apply to advanced track system, which is a system. Um, say I'm interested in periodontology, mm-hmm. so I can apply to a post grad per you advanced track. I'm gonna be on the same track as I am as a D student, but also I'm gonna be. I can go shadow, I can practice to some extent on the post-grad clinic, um, and I can at least shadow and share whatever cases, whatever um, experiences, and I can have like a little bit more plus points um, in this track. Awesome. It's like um, gaining the insight in a specialization. Yes, exactly. Kind of, yeah. Wow, For right. everyone who is interested in specialty, you can apply and it depends. I, I think they have some criteria to choose I'm not aware of yet, but um, it's a great plan. So did you and sign up for uh, Perio? I didn't sign up. Uh, our We're going to sign up next year. Okay. So I'm still actually, I'm considered D2. I have two weeks left in D2 because our Whoa. UIC, it's two years and a half. Oh, so yeah. I'm still in the first half. And then you are going um, to be with the integrity yeah. patch? Yes, from mid, um, mid-August, mid I'm going to be D3. Okay. So does the school have integrated batches? 
Yes, these three we're gonna get into the clinic, but we still have our so till this moment we're we're separate, our international class is separate, but these three we still like we start integrated with um other students, yeah. Yeah, so you're gonna have a lot many friends then. <laughs> oh yeah. Actually our my class is 52 students and we blend with each other amazingly. I mean we're diverse, but uh, I'm I'm been so blessed with amazing class. So did COVID affect your class? Um, in the beginning, we didn't get a chance to know each other. We we were during COVID time in the very beginning, we were four groups. So you only get to know your group yeah. only. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have a WhatsApp group. We have like a sometimes we get blended two groups together. And right now, actually, we're all together most of the time. We still two groups, not four. Um, but we get to see each other more. We're we're almost like daily can see each other. So mm-hmm. which is great. And we go out together. We we get times together. <laughs> so that's amazing. Yeah. And what about the unique aspects after? Afterwards. Unique aspects after. Um, <laughs> after actually, um, our instructors are have been amazing. So they are very very supportive. They help us as much as they can. Um, if we have like if each or any one of us have a special situation and they need help, they need support, they need advice, they're really um, able to do so. Um, that's one of the best things. Actually, I didn't expect to have it, but um, thankfully we have this. So this has been great. Um, also, we, we have a specific course, which is digital dentistry, which enhance and educate us about all the updated dentistry was nowadays like all the digital aspects had cam um and even we experienced it by ourselves and all other stuff laser so we have this specific course i didn't start it yet so i can't speak out completely mm-hmm. about it but um it's a i heard it's a great course and actually we're starting with implants right our implant course right now um, we're going to start with, with the digital aspect of implants after fa- we finished already the, the traditional aspects. Wow. So yeah. anyone who loves implants, UIC is amazing, right? Like it provides... I mean, yeah, I mean, we take this course, it, it was great as a traditional and we're going to the digital part of it. And yeah, I mean, yes, I think that they know how to teach us all the new aspects, not, not just implants, but everything. Yeah. And can you walk us through your interview day? Like, how did you feel? Was it one-on-one and what the committee really focus on? So my interview due to COVID was virtual. Mm-hmm. So um, it was last year. Um, it was one to two, me to two faculty. Um, you get, it was kind of friendly interview. It wasn't that stressful, like very stress interview. No, it was like very friendly. Basically, they want to know who you are. Um, what's your experiences? Um, what's your strengths? What's your weaknesses? Um, they want to know like what extracurricular activities you do, um, what challenges you faced. Um, basically, they they want to know who you are and what's your personality as a whole package, like as a whole person, not just dentally related. Okay. So uh, do they ask ethical questions or any clinical? They ask a couple of ethical questions Mm -hmm. at the end, um, which is kind of easy, like common sense questions. Okay. Doable. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's common sense questions. You, you, like any person can answer it nicely because this is kind of what you face every day. Amazing. So UIC is one of the schools that starts sending invites very early in the year. So do you suggest to apply early in the cycle? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I applied in the beginning. Okay. And actually through my experience, through my three cycles, um, not just UIC, apply early, like as early as you can for anyone. It, it just, I would say it reveals for people, if you're ready, it reveals you're ready. You're already ready for them. Mm-hmm. You're waiting for the cycle to open and you are ready for them. So I think it, it, it gives a good impression. 
Yeah, that's important. And uh, yeah. what TOEFL, GPA and like clinical experience is important to the school? From my experience, it's all important, but it's not just a number. They see you as a, as a whole package. They see you as experience, as a person, as diversity. Um, they want someone who really want, can adapt um, to their system um, and to the school. Even in like with my class, we are very diverse. We have like 20 years old, like 20 years experienced dentist with us. And we have a fresh grad just graduate last year. So it's very, very, very diverse. So I would say they look for everything, but as a package. So like, don't feel like if your GP is not that high, don't feel you're not, not going to be accepted. No, you work as like as much as you can. They're going to find the good point in you. Just do your best. Like if you have a weakness in some area, try to focus on other area to, to strengthen it. So yeah. yeah. Like make the profile as rounded as possible and like holistic. Yeah. Nice. So how does your routine day look like? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm I'm at school by the way. Right it's 10 now? PM. Yes, and it's Saturday. Oh my god. And because, I, I know uh, tomorrow also you are busy. Yes. I mean tomorrow in the morning it's not related to school, but uh, yeah. Um we have performance exams which is the final practical exams. Mm -hmm. Um so usually we try to practice as much as you as we can during the weekend since the week is so busy. Um, so that's why I came a little bit early to, to practice a little bit. Wow. Um, yeah. And we have actually a final implant um, next Tuesday. So this week is kind of, we have final for implant, which is theoretical. And we have two performance exams like Thursday and Friday for you and Endo. Do you have performance exam on the regular basis or it's like semester basis? It's so like for operative, we usually have two performance exams per semester, mm -hmm. one in the middle and one at the end. But for other like um, and endo as well, actually, endo we had two. Like we have we had one and we have we're having the second one. Um, all others per you uh, fixed RPD complete. Um, I, it's just one at the end, like towards the end of the semester. Yeah. So yeah. that so, uh, you just not have theoretical classes, but they are still like focusing on practicals right away. No, we have both. Both. Okay. So our daily, our daily is um, so we have daily lectures, but lectures are recorded, so you hear it or you listen to it on your own time. Okay. But we have to be school mostly every day from roughly nine to five, I would say every day. Um, we have pre-clinical activity. One day we have also, one day we have perio, one day we have operative, one day we have fixed and um, RPD complete. Complete, we finished it on the first semester. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it's what you do with RPD and implants. Um, so it's kind of busy. Um, and then we have also like rotation, clinical rotation. Since we're still in the preclinical, we go rotations in the clinic itself with a per Um What else we have? Um, yeah, so yeah, I mean, your schedule gonna be basically, you're gonna see in your schedule two or three lectures you have to listen to during the day. And then you have pre one or two preclinical activity and one of subjects or two, depends on the day. Um, these are different. It's generally, for six months, the other schools will only focus on uh, theoretical subjects, right? They'll not uh, let you get, uh, go in the clinics. But it's really interesting that you, how did you uh, face this transition? Like when you were applying, you were patient, and now it's like, no, run. No, I mean, right now we're in the clinics, we're observing and assisting, but I mean, that's what's what you want to do and you already did this before and that's why you're, your goal you're not go like it's not your goal to work on a dummy head yeah. or type of don't right mm -hmm. so you can't wait you basically once you reach here you can't wait to see the patients so it's a smooth transition it, i'm sure it's stressful um 
but this is what you want and this is what you really want to learn. And it's different. Like patients are different than type of dance. So you really want to get exposed to this. Yes. One of my mentors used to say every patient is like fingerprint, no two are the same. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a very nice word. <laughs> that's an amazing, like, amazing word. It's true. It's totally right. Yes. Um, yeah, it's really nice. So like if you have one last advice for all the prospective international students who are applying to UIC, what would that be? Uh, do your best. Enrich yourself with a, as much experience as you can, um, not just for, for getting accepted, but for all your future. Like, yes, I did a lot. And it was like a feeling I was feeling at some point I did too much and I didn't get accepted yet. What should I do more? But honestly, as much as I already did, I feel like I have this experience. I enriched myself for myself, not for, for schools. So um, you will never regret any experience you will have. Um, stay focused, have faith, um, work as hard as you can, do your best. And um, I'm going to say the easiest sentence to be said, but the hardest to be done. Enjoy the journey. Like everyone was telling me the sentence. And I know, like I was kind of, really, are you serious? Like I'm in, in a dilemma, but enjoy it. It will have ups and downs. It will have like... Um, hardships and fun moments but this is our life enjoy it have fun and um, you will get there wherever you want beautiful beautiful monica it's really a great advice yeah. and it's been a pleasure talking to you thank you thank for you. all your inputs and taking time out of your busy day you're still <laughs> in the school like uh, i'm having goosebumps <laughs> you're working hard babe <laughs> um, <laughs> It's hard, but but you will enjoy it. And if you have a great classmates, they really will give it a taste, a great taste. Yep. So mm -hmm. I wish you all the best for your future endeavors. Thank you, Lena. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you for uh, doing this. And coming to my audience at Capit Simplified, hope our efforts of sharing school experience is helping you. Uh, remember, we have got your back. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching us. Thank you.